Hello everyone, this is Eric from Taijin Tanks. Today we're going to be looking at the motherboard for all of our uh, 2.4 GHz systems. Um, this is part number TAG120612. And this motherboard will work, like I said, with all current tanks. And I'm going to go over a few of the ports with you guys, so you guys can see and actually uh, know what things do and where they go. Okay, so let's start out with the main power port. This is the top left right here. And then we've got the two motor ports here. Um, depending on if your uh, motors are in the rear or the front, they might be backwards or left and right, depending. Um, right here, we have this 8-pin plug. Um, this guy is going to control all the upper hole functions. Um, this thing controls like the uh, turret movement, the barrel elevation, the LED lights, um, things like that. Um, next to it, we're going to have the uh, smoke unit port. And this is the guy directly beside the 8-pin plug. And that's a 2-pin plug, and that plugs your smoke unit. Um, next to that, which is in the elevated uh, spot right here, is for the on-off switch for the smoke unit. So once again, smoke unit here to the left, on-off switch right there. Um, finally, on this very small port here, um, this guy is actually tinier than the other two pin ports. Um, this is for rear tail lights. So if you have a tank that is equipped with rear tail lights, um, I believe like the M41 and such, you can add those. If your tank does not come with them, you can retrofit them to add yourself some tail lights. Um, now up here, we're going to have this is the um, infrared port, or one of the infrared ports, anyways. Um, this is used for the battling. Um, and this, usually, when you open up your tank, um, the wire that goes in this side right here is heat shrinked, and this wire right here is separate from that. Um, this one will, on the infrared version, will be a three pin connector and a two pin connector, and it'll come up and split. Um, so, and then the three wires will run all the way up to the turret, and then two wires will come off of this guy here into a little connector. And what that connector is, is that's the recoil port for the infrared. Now, on the airsoft version, um, this port here is not going to be used, because this is for infrared uh, firing and battling here, receiving hits and such. This is your recoil port here. Um, this is also the flash as well. So, since there's no flash on the airsoft, we're only going to use two, the far right two pins, and the three left pins there are actually going to be not used. So I'm going to pause this for a second and plug this in so you guys can see how that airsoft actually plugs in. Okay, so here is the airsoft firing unit. This is uh, TAG120614. <clears throat> now, this guy's going to have a few wires. Um, what we're going to be looking at <clears throat> is the wire, excuse me guys, is the wire that connects to this contact switch right here. Um, this is what controls the recoil and sound on your tank. What it is, is inside of this airsoft unit, when it uh, spools up, um, when it fires, it hits, pushes a little piece of metal. If you guys can, this will focus here. Um, what it does is it actually pushes these two pieces together. And when they touch, it sends the signal all the way down this wire, and it'll be plugged in. Um, to the far right two pins on that recoil port. So that's going to be right here, all the way to the right. Now if you guys look, you can see <coughs> there's one, two, three pins open. So that is how the airsoft plugs into the motherboard. So once again, if you have airsoft, this port will not be used, and these three pins on the left will not be used. Only this. So if you're running your tank, <clears throat> and everything works except for your recoil and your sound from the firing, it's because of this. So let's continue on. This right here, this three-pin three, uh, three pin port, this is actually the uh, volume control knob. Um, this actually changes the volume, which you can see from one of these guys right here. Uh, it's just a potentiometer. Sorry, this one's a burn-up one. Um, just plugs right in and controls the volume. And then next to that guy is the speaker port. Um, and that's this far right corner here. So speaker, 
volume control, recoil and flash, infrared battling, power, motor control, motor control, upper hole control, smoke unit, smoke unit on and off switch, and tail lights. So that's how the um, motherboard works. Automatically, you will 100% of the time get a fan running. So that'll keep this board nice and cool so you can keep battery after battery in this guy. 